So, um, what is karma? Um, well, there's a beautiful sutra in the grammar of Sanskrit, in Panini's grammar, which tells us um, what karma is. And um, it describes, it defines karma as being the object of our experience. So, we all know the, uh, the concept of a subject and an object. So, if we take a simple example of the cat sat on the mat, so the cat is the subject. The cat is the one that has the capacity to act within it. And the object is the mat. It's the one that is acted upon. Um, so another example, um, I eat <coughs> um, a tomato. So I am the subject because I'm the one who has the capacity to act within me. And the tomato is the subject. The tomato is the one that is acted upon. So um, in our everyday life, everything that we see around us are the objects of our current experience. So right now, um, I am the one who, um, in, my, in my perception of my current experience, I am the one who has the capacity to act. And the ground um, is something that I can act upon. I can walk upon the ground. Um, the sea um, is something that I have the capacity to act upon. I have the capacity to act to swim in the sea. So um, uh, Panini describes um, the objects of our experience in the following uh, sutra which says karma. So if you want we'll just try this call and response one time so I'll say it and then you can repeat after me. Um, kartu Ripsi Tatamam Karma And then the whole thing sounds Karturipsi Tatamam Karma And what this says is that the karma or the object of your experience is that which you are most desirous to attain. The, sub the object of your experience is that which you are most desirous to attain. So we can kind of take this on board when the objects of our experience are things that we, um, things that it seems like we want, like um, we're surrounded by people we love and we're in an environment that we like. We can say, yes, I, I desire to attain all of these things. But what about when we're in a difficult situation um, and life doesn't seem to be going how we want it to go and um, yeah, things are difficult. Is this really what we desire to attain? Well, the eye that is being referred to is not the eye of the ego, the, the one that um, is trying to create a better person, the one that's trying to improve ourselves and um, you know, has our self self project plan of how to get to where we want to in life. The eye that's being talked about um, is a much deeper eye. So um, we're all the product of um, many generations on either side, unconscious patterns that um, are part of our being from our genetic past, but also that spark when we're um, the male and the female can come together and. Um, that something, that, some, that spark comes that makes us who we are, um, that itself contains many unconscious um, subconscious patterns. So these are all at play at every moment in our life, um, moving and directing our lives. So if we take on board um, Patanjali Sutra 221 that says, um, Tat artha eva drushyasya Atma Tadartha Eva Trishasya Atma Which says that everything in our experience is there to help us to um, awaken. It's there for our spirit and our soul to um, come into full being and awaken and realize who we truly are. Um, so this is what this um, sutra is saying. It's giving us a different um, level of reverence almost and um, connection with the objects in our experience. 
It's telling us that every object is there for um, the purpose of our awakening and every object has at the deepest level of our being is what we most desire to attain. Um, so this is a beautiful idea or concept to keep in mind when we're um, dealing with the many, many different objects that we come into um, contact with in our daily life. Um, and if you like this, then um, check out my website, lots more coming and um, I run a course that tells, talks about all of this stuff in much more detail.